Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some Europa Universalis for the White Elephant. It has been 10 days since my last confession. No, since 10, since I recorded last. Uh, because I worked eight in a row. And um, yesterday I decided that I was gonna take advantage of the Independence Day sales at Micro Center, other computer stores are available, and upgrade the unit. So I've done that and uh, We'll see how things are. One of the th one of the pieces of the puzzle I didn't consider backing up from my other computer, and I still have it. I mean, I'm going to network it up there, but I figured it was more important getting the initial gaming rig going. But one of the things that I forgot to transfer were all of my settings for OBS, uh, which is sort of annoying. So I've had to recreate a lot of stuff, and I decided I'm going to start with EU4 today uh, because I wanted to see just how much the speed works. I did a test of it yesterday, so I actually, I know. Uh, it's it's amazing. It actually, speed five is actually super fast now. Speed four is really fast, speed three is fast. I might have to start playing on speed two. Turns out my computer basically was running at speed two. Well, now it's running way better than that. If you want details of all the specs and stuff, uh, I'll probably talk about it in Metro Monday, so look for that video and, and you'll get there. But I have uh, definitely, I'm, I'm loving this. Also, between the time I started playing the White Elephant and now, uh, Arumba has, has included all the other stuff in his pack, so you'll see there's better borders, the water is better, the, the texture is better if I come to the, the map, oh my god, all of this is different, oh shit, alright, so I'll have to set all that up, I'm not going to bother doing it with you guys, I'll just complain about buttons and then change it in, the, in between videos, I'm just going to record this one episode right now, because I want to see how fast things actually um, in code in Caden Live. They are pretty darn fast in Audacity. So I'm hoping that they'll be also super fast in Caden Live and I won't have to set things overnight forever. Alright, so what were we doing? I no clue. Let's see what our options are. Uh, I've got a loan coming due. That's not a surprise. I remember having significant financial troubles. We are making money right now, but that's only because my army maintenance is less than half, so... You know, not ideal. We're getting war reparations in, which is nice. Oh, we're colonizing, which is expensive, of course. We have interest on our loans, advisors are expensive, we might have to just get rid of some advisors, I don't know. Our fleet is expensive, but we're not getting rid of that, so what do their loans look like? Oh, that's not good. How much is that total? 557 ducats in debt. Not ideal. Okay, well that's fine. Um, we've got tech I could invest in, military tech, which I'm just waiting on until I get into a war because who cares? Um, conversions? Does this seem like a good idea? 1.3 and some change in Keda, which is here, which is where I'm sitting. My revolt risk is will be 5.42 if I do that. Um, do I have any progress right now? I do. That's not good. But they'll change. All right, let's let this decay for a while. Where are you progressing? Nakantongyai? That's up here, isn't it? Now, yeah, what's your problem? Hampered growth. Oh, that's an event of some sort. Until 1491. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's nothing. That's just another seven months from now. No big deal. All right, provincial unrest. Yes, we know about that. Thank you. I have a free advisor slot. Well, I don't have any money, so that's not going to happen. Truces are expiring in three years, thank you, and I have a claim on Batani. <clears throat> right, but I am not going to exercise that claim. Because I'm going to bring them in peacefully. How are we doing on that? I'd imagine it's going to be a while. Yeah, 92, actually, whoa, 92, that's not long at all. It was eight years ago I vassalized them, huh? Alright, so in two years we'll be able to bring them into the fold peacefully. Which will absolutely be what we do. Loading all my windows here, which is kind of silly because I'll next episode I'll have to do that anyway. Um, <clears throat> they love me, so that's good. Religion, we are right in the karmic threshold. I have one conquistador. We are colonizing, which I saw. Yep, that's what I remembered. We're doing the Timor Island next. So that's nice, I've mothballed my fleet there, because who cares if I recall somebody up here that I don't know, Bhutan I think it is? B Bhutan. Uh, whom I have not discovered. They have a claim on one of these provinces, which is sort of annoying. But we can make it work, because I'm sure I could get military access here. Not likely. 
All right, so I was thinking about this in the past week, and what I've, I've decided is that, yes, I'm going to go for Australia. After two more, we're going to get a, a, a naval explorer and go down here and get the Australian goal. That's number one. But then, for the betterment of the long-term campaign, we got to head west. we got to grab these islands before somebody else does, assuming we can get them. I think we can. I think this one is good. Um, so we'll try and get to here so that way then I can jump over to, to maybe here and then I can jump over to here and boom we're at Portugal so that we can westernize because I think in order to get the white elephant campaign we're gonna need to westernize because now if I recall we need most of this whatever's in the Indochina Peninsula all right let's play so this is speed four now oh no it's not because that's fine so that's speed four significantly faster. This game will, will play much better, I think, for me. So when I'm at peace, when I don't really have anything to do, speed 4, just fine. Uh, you'll notice some changes up here. This is more of the interface adjustments that were done through that mod pack. If you want it, it's at Arumba.tv, and it'll be on my website eventually. I was going to spend yesterday working on the website, but I upgraded my computer instead. So we'll, we'll get to that also. I might take some time over a lunch break or something today and, and do that. Rent is due, so I'm gonna go pay rent and take a little walk, maybe. Look at it, look at how Ming has just imploded. That's is that it? Are they down to one? Two. There are two little pass parcels of land, and that's it. Oh, Japan! Wow. We're gonna have unified Japan. This is crazy. It's been a very interesting game. I have not upgraded to 1.13. Uh, I'm going to, but I figured for these videos, let's just play what works, and we'll upgrade later. Uh, I have no idea how the sound is going to be, by the way. There's a couple of things going on with the sound. One, uh, for a long time I had uh, a buzz on this new configuration because this, the CPU fan is significantly louder. Um, and the case fan on this, I, I moved to a different case because I, I bought a full ATX board not realizing that the case I was using was just a uh, micro ATX. <laughs> Oops. So, okay, okay, fine. Well, that's fine. Well, we should be able to beat them back. Yeah, no problem. That's done. Um, we are apparently recovering our manpower. Wow, brutal. All right, so we want to try and avoid war at all costs. We're not, we're not coming into a lean disaster, are we? No, because our stability is high. Um, I completely lost my train of thought with that. That's embarrassing. What else is here? Oh, that's right. I made another cog. All right, well, I'm not all that one's in. Put my this together. Let's pause. We've got things going on. I cannot group these together. The keyboard shortcut's not working. Interesting. I mean, it was working yesterday when I tested it, so maybe it's just because this is up. All right, lawyers are at odds. Lawyers placing bets on the outcome of a legal dispute is nothing uncommon in our lands, and neither is a certain degree of friendly rivalry among the professionals in the courtroom. Once such rivalry turns into actual anger and passion, then the integrity of our laws is at stake. It appears two lawyers, each representing powerful patrons, one a rich monastery and the other an aristocrat family of some influence, have gotten caught up in the moment and turned a recent legal conflict about a sizable estate into a heated row. This is very unfortunate, and it now falls upon me to attempt to salvage the face of both sides in a fair way, without compromising the integrity of our courts. So we could demand a retrial with other lawyers to gain some karma, which is kind of nice. Judge in favor of the, of the monastery to gain some autonomy change for 10 years, uh, but it'll still be a decrease, not decrease in that province. Um, development cost will be cheaper. Lose 10 car karma. I'm not really going to develop though because I'm saving up points to westernize at this point. Or lose 10 karma. Yeah, let's just demand a retrial with other lawyers. Hey, we're trading in tea. Tea is going to be produced in Weston. Alright, now why are you not combining? Is it not the G key for naval units? I'm very confused by this. I bet it's because one's mothballed and one's not mothballed. So let's select one that's not mothballed and mothball it. That was it. Okay. Problem solving. Wow, we're already 10 minutes into this video. Nice. Let's keep going. Speed 4. Speed 4 is great. Speed 5? It's a little too fast. So it's a little too much for me. we got just a year now until we'll be able to start integrating Batani. I'm not entirely certain the diplomatic cost for that. It probably will be high. 
So I'm kind of adverse to that just because our Diplo is so low. But we are tearing through some ideas, if I recall. Yeah, our next one will be free colonies. It'll give us another colonist, which we can't afford quite yet. So we need to work on probably our trade. Although that's pretty high for this point in the game. I'm not sure how we can build economy without expanding. I mean, sure, I could use some of this admin power stored up to... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Do what I need to do there. There's, there's no doubt about that. Do we go for this? I mean, not naval ideas, but go for another idea group. It's tempting. Quantity is definitely tempting, given how much problem we have with manpower. We could knack two of those out real quick. I have no juice today, which is sort of disappointing. I'm going to have to get some juice when I come back, because thirsty. I get some manpower recovered. This or this, yeah, manpower modifier plus ten, which is great. All we need is one more idea for that. Uh, we're getting closer. This is this is. It feels like I'm blazing. I love this. This is awesome. My CPU utilage is about half of what it was when I was recording, which is probably to be expected considering I now have more processors. Although I'm not entirely certain that OBS is a multi-threaded program. So that might just be the one CPU that is monitoring rather than the entirety of the CPUs. I'm not sure. Alright, how are we doing? Are we ready to convert this? 2.3 unrest. It's going higher. I must have lost uh, something, so I'm not entirely certain I want to do that. Yeah, that's they, started, they were going down. That's fine. We know why we're doing that. They have grown, which is nice. We want to be allies. Can we afford another alliance? We do have the spot. Would they be a good ally? I have a royal marriage with Majafit. It's down here. They're rivaled with Brunei. Yeah, because I don't know what's going on with Bhutan. Or Putin. So I may need their help. So let's get this alliance. No royal marriage, though. I want this one to be a little more malleable. Encourage the encomienda system. The matter of the native population is of a key concern to us. We need to ensure that natives under our care are protected from hostile neighbors, properly civilized, and practice the truth. I think I've read that before. Local goods produced plus one. Nice. Lower aggressiveness. It's always nice. So there should be none now. Yeah. Which means I really don't need the colonist here. I could just stand on the 55 a year and move the colonist elsewhere. But I think that ultimately that will cost more money, so we'll stick with this now. And we're going to go find Australia. Can't wait for that. It's going to be very exciting. What are you? You're a bark. Go project trade, would you? I feel like I've got a cat in here with me. Oh yeah, the door's wide open. So the cats could be in and out at any time. So that's that's an exciting uh, turn of events. This is very disappointing. Yeah, I see that. Thank you. And there he is. So sorry about the cat, but I'm not going to get up in the middle of the uh, episode. I really feel like I need a fort here somewhere, but I'm 557 ducats in debt. So, a while ago I was talking about how I had not upgraded to 1.13. We are paused, that would be why nothing's going on. Uh, 1.13. Come here, his rival Malacca. Or Majafit had rivaled Malacca. And Malacca rivaled who? Sunda? Uh, down there, really? I'm not sure that's a worthy rival, but okay. Um, I haven't gone to 1.13 just because I wanted to make sure that something worked and I knew 1.12 worked. Mm, no, sorry, Kutai. Not interested. And I, I do like what 1.13 has done to the balance. I think it will help us. Oh my god, you're fed your water to the clean box. You're going a little crazy, okay? I'm talking to the people on the intertubes. Yes, I am. I don't have time to be dealing with your wine, wine, whininess. Come sit on the top of the chair if you want. So, anyway, that's the cat. I apologize. Five minutes of this. Probably less, because he tends to settle in eventually. No, seriously, just go somewhere else. I'm busy. 
I'm busy. Look at Lana. Oh my god. I assume they still hate us. Are there enough people to form... Oh my god, that's not... Uh... Are there enough people to form a coalition? Then we would join. I obviously could start it. No. 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 Nobody's going to join this coalition. They're just going to get huge. Do they have any claims on me? That is not what I want. Oh, God. They have a ton of claims on me. I don't have claims anywhere. I do have a core there, though, jerks. Oh, Balderdash. Come here, are you still aligned with... Whoops. Are you still allied with them? Yeah. Ah, nah, man. Causing trouble. Alright, we can integrate these guys now. It's the first auto save that actually took a noticeable amount of time. Um, 120 Diplo, we'll do it. Start the annexation process. I don't think Khmer will ever be on our side. Oh, they're only 99. Uh, gain autonomy or lose admin power. How much autonomy and where? Martaban, where are you? Martaban. You're up here. Your autonomy look like now? 37%. Hmm. Now we'll lose the power. How is my autonomy doing? Is that five? Yes. Um I could lower it, but that would increase unrest. I don't think it's worth it at this point. How are we doing on the rebels? 50%. Horribly worried about the rebels. Separatism will slowly tick down. It would be nice if they were the right religion, but we'll have to do that later. That's the problem with the rest of this peninsula. It's all the wrong religion. Whereas if I go colonizing, it's instantly the right religion. Yay. We're doing pretty well there. Speed 4 is perfectly acceptable in peacetime. And we're not going to invest in technology. We're just not going to do it. Let's make sure my countries of special interest are set correctly, because uh, I think that's saved by the patch, but I don't know. Or by the save file, rather. But again, I don't know. Brunei is a two-province miner now. Crazy. It's very interesting. I, that's part of why I love this game, because even though historically certain things happen, they, they aren't guaranteed to play out that way. Bountiful Harvest, we can levy a tax to lose karma and gain money, or we gain karma and lose local unrest, but none of the places where I care about, so we'll lose the karma and gain the money. Yeah. Can we repay the loan? We can. Let's let's repay the loan. Any loan we can repay, we're going we're gonna to repay. Oh, come on, Malaka, don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk, it's Christmas. Not really. You have a core, so you have reconquest. Which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Unrest continues to tick down, which is nice. That is a core, not a claim, right? Yeah, cores are gold, claims are... Or old cores, I think, are... I don't know. So cores are gold. It has a country. interesting. Alright, well we're going to call it right there for this week. It's a, it's a, what, 30 seconds short right now, so it'll be finishing just on time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated everything that's happening. And until next time, cheers! <laughs>